Hey everyone, it's Dr. Mondo, and I am here back in my quiet space, a place that I can visit throughout the day. I try to come here daily and set aside at least 10 to 15 minutes just to know that this is a place where I can come and it will be quiet, it will be peaceful, my phone stays inside, and this is a place where I can just kind of sit in my thoughts, where I can collect myself. And it is so vital when you are going through life to have places like this, to have regular routines where at least once or twice a day you spend time doing just that, collecting your thoughts and unplugging from the world around you. Otherwise, what happens is, is as we talk about in the Roadmap to Weight Loss program, it becomes so easy to lose touch with yourself, to really not even necessarily know what emotions you're currently processing because they're so buried under the surface. And as we talk about rewriting your story, as we talk about rewriting your story with food in particular, it becomes incredibly vital to have time to sit down and process what is going on with me today. That way you can make different choices in advocating for safety and comfort outside of your relationship to food. Sometimes we'll find that if we have this quiet time to look forward to, it can become a sanctuary of sorts similar not the same, but similar to our relationship to food. And we find that over a period of a couple of weeks, this becomes a part of our routine that allows us actually to feel like we're less stressed, to feel less anxiety, less loneliness, less depression, because we're rewriting our story, not just with our food, but we're also re rewriting our story with our self-care, with our emotional balance. And all of that actually comes back to saying that you're worth it, you know, because so many times people will say, if I look at your calendar and I look at your bank account, I can find out what's most important to you. And if we look at our calendars, how much time do we have set aside just for ourselves? Do you have 10 or 15 minutes in your day where you set aside just to make sure that you have time for you to just collect your thoughts, to unplug from all the demands of the world, the job, the kids? Most of us don't. And the reality is that part of why we are struggling so much in our relationship with food, so much in our relationship to ourselves is because we're not making ourselves a priority in this sort of way. So take time this week to start making yourself a priority. Put yourself on the calendar, quiet time in a quiet space. It can be anywhere. It can be a cubicle at work. It can be under a nice tree on your lunch break. It can be in your backyard. It doesn't have to be you know, a quiet retreat that's miles and miles away by the beach. All it needs to be is a place where you set time aside to just sit in your own thoughts, to unplug from the busyness of the day. When you start to have that, it becomes a sanctuary. And a sanctuary is a place where our body and our brains over time can look forward to becoming rejuvenated in as we spend more and more time there. Set your place, make the time, put it on your calendar. You'll be glad that you did so. And by the way, the first you know, few days, the first few weeks, if you're showing up and you're finding, my gosh, all I find is racing thoughts. It's hard for me to really even find my feelings. Don't worry because it's going to take some time to settle in. But I promise if you stick with it, you will see long-term results. Finally, I'm gonna give you guys some guided exercises that you can do when you're in your quiet space, your sanctuary. And those will also help you get in a regular routine of knowing what to do specifically with your time in the sanctuary. So guys, I'm so excited for you. I know this is gonna pay off big time. It's a great piece to have in your daily routine, especially if you're taking on not just life, but also the Roadmap to Weight Loss program, and you're looking to rewrite your story right now, this is going to be an excellent piece to all of the in-depth work that we are doing throughout the program. So take the time for you and schedule it today, and then leave some comments on this thread about how it's going. Check in with me from time to time so that your stories can encourage others to do the same.